And continuing our coverage tonight, some would say no one is feeling the impact of this whole mess more than those in and around Rock Hill. Many businesses flock to the area in the hopes of a booming new tourist attraction, but now those hopes look very bleak. Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger live from the half-built facility in Rock Hill. Sydney, what have people been saying down in Rock Hill tonight? Yeah, Alicia, good evening. I spoke to residents, local businesses, even a local real estate agent, all of them incredibly disappointed. They say this would have a really big impact on the city of Rock Hill, who was counting on the jobs and tourism this facility would bring in. Tuesday at Jasmine Grill was just like any other day, except this day. It was sprinkled with a bit of disappointment. I'm a little disappointed because I thought, you know, say you could see like maybe like people who are in league, like just around town or something. And I don't know, get more business around here for everybody. The news of the Panthers terminating their contract with the city of Rock Hill hit locals hard. Businesses were excited for new customers. Neighbors were excited for local football. It's really disappointing, um, especially because, like I said, because I was excited for the growth that it would bring um, and the jobs and stuff that people are potentially losing because it's kind of halted. Josh Steele is a real estate agent who's lived in Rock Hill his whole life. He says he's used the new facility as a selling point for his clients and home values nearby had gone up. I think it's probably for leverage just because South Carolina, he knows that South Carolina wants football down here. So probably want some more money out of Rock Hill, which personally as living in Rock Hill, I wouldn't mind them giving. The good news is the deal is not dead in the water. Many in Rock Hill feel there's still hope. Yeah, I'm hoping they can get back on track and there's about 170 million I believe into it right now. So it'd be quite a shame for all that metal and money to go to waste. Yeah, again, as it stands, the city of Rock Hill says they are interested in negotiating with the Panthers and David Tepper. York County also says they hope to be able to find a way to move this deal forward. A lot of money already invested in this project. I'm live in Rock Hill, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News. Sydney, thank you for that. Today's determination is just one of the many developments to come out of the facility debacle down there in Rock Hill, where we saw Sydney tonight. To get the latest updates as they come into our newsroom, you can download the QC News app you see right there on your screen. It's free. It's in the Apple App Store and also on Google Play.